Hey everybody and welcome back. In this video I'm going to carry on from where I was in the last video and I'm going to use the same method that I used before to create a wall with a window in it. So the first thing I want to do is obviously in object mode I'm going to go to add mesh plane, set my size to 3 meters and then I'm going to rotate it along the x-axis. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and then on the z-axis I'm going to move it 1.5 meters up so that it's exactly where I need it to be. Simple as that. Okay, now we need to switch into edit mode, so I'm going to just do that now. And then you can see it's got the extrude tool selected, but we're not going to do that right now. We're actually going to go to loop cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a loop there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this tool, which is edge slide. And I'm actually going to slide this across. And then we'll see the tool here changed, which is great. I can just rotate this like this. Perfect. And now I can. you can see it says a factor of minus 0.49. Let's just see what happens if I go to minus 0.5. And if I were to take it out, select out of that box, you can see now that's moved so that it's exactly halfway there. I don't want it to be exactly there because I want my window to be slightly narrower than that so I'm actually going to move this to probably about there let's just say minus 0.325 there we go that's cool now I'm going to do the same thing again on the other side I'm going to go to loop cut I'm going to create one there and lo and behold you can see that that has created a cut in exactly the same place now that is just purely coincidental just, I'm not going to pretend that that's because of some magic. That's just what happened. So now I'm going to do the same thing there. But this time I actually want that edge to move a little bit more because I want this one to be, a, I want this window to be about a meter high. So I'm going to drag this down like that. Perfect. And then I can have a look at that and see. So this one I actually want to be in the region of about. 0.33 I would say there we go and then we can create another one along that same edge and there we go now we can see whether or not we're actually happy with the width and height of that window at the moment it's currently a square window which I'm not happy about so I'm actually going to manually drag this up like so now it looks a little bit more realistic so it's about I would say a meter off the ground. Happy with that. Now what we can actually do is we can actually select that face using our select tool. And we can actually look at the properties of that face. And we can adjust these lines to where we want them to be. So at the moment it's showing us the plane, so I'm happy with that. We just want to make sure that we understand that this is essentially the shape that we're going to be cutting out this is going to be our window and we can adjust this it hasn't got to be exact to the right dimensions when we create the next part we can simply um, copy that shape no problem at all so what we can do is now that we've got this one selected what i'm actually going to do is go back into object mode like so and this shape i'm going to duplicate duplicate object boom and i'm just going to put that out of the way over there for now Perfect. Right, so now we're going to select this one again and go back into edit mode. And this face I'm simply going to delete. So I'm going to hit the delete key, delete faces, boom. There we go. That's our object there. Now in this one, I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to come out of edit mode, go into object mode, select the shape we want to edit, go into edit mode again. This time I'm going to select the opposite faces. So I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select the other faces. Hit delete, select faces. Boom. Right, so now we've got a cutout of our shape for our window and a shape for the wall with the window in it. I'm going to select the uh, wall. Let's come out into object mode, select the wall again, back into edit mode. There we go. 
Now what I want to do is extrude this object. So I'm going to select all of these faces, holding down the shift key, like so. And then we're going to extrude and we're going to do exactly like we did before. We're going to just move this backward. Once this appears here, we're going to change this to minus 0.2. And that will give us the size of the wall that we need. Perfecto. So what I'm going to do now is going to go back into uh, object mode. I'm going to move this object to where I need it to be, which means moving it along the Y axis. And I think that's going to be a minus 0.1. Boom. That's exactly where we want it to be. Beautiful. So now I'm going to create the skirting board, same as we did before. I'm just going to go to add mesh cube. And I'm going to adjust the size of the cubes uh, later in here. So we're going to just come across to here. We want it's in the right position already. So we just need to change the scale along the X axis. That needs to be three in the Y axis. That needs to be approximately 0 0.205, 0 0.21 actually, so I'll tell a lie, 0.21. Perfect. And then along this scale, we need it to be 0 0.01. Might've gone a bit too far there. Let's try 0 0.1. There we go. That's exactly what we want. And then in the X, uh, sorry, the Z axis, we need to move it up. It needs to be 0 0.05 up. So now that sits perfectly like that. So what we can do now is before we even start with the window, we can actually go into our material properties, which I believe is here. And we can create a new one. So this material is going to be called skirting. Happy days. And now we can select our wall and we can create a new material there called wall. Perfect. And if we go back to our cube, yep, skirting, wall. Now we've got plane there, like so. Now what we want to do is do the same thing that we did to create the holes in this one, but we're also going to create a copy of this because we also need to put glass in our window. So I'm going to duplicate this object again like that and I'm going to move the duplicate out of the way over here like this and then this one we can now move to be in the center of our XYZ axis. So we come into our object properties which is this one and we're just going to change the location X to be zero and we're going to change the location Y to be zero and we seem to have somehow got into a weird situation where we're also askew there so let's just look and see I can't believe I actually managed to get that almost exactly 0.5 1.5 meters but there we go so that's going to be the glass so now we can realistically we can actually assign a property to that guy as well so we're going to come down again to material properties create a new one and this one's going to be glass Boom. Right, so now that's got its own material as well. Now we just need to create panes of the window. And there's there's options we can do here. I'm going to do the most simple one simply because I'm being lazy, but you can do it how however complex you want it to be. So go into edit mode. And I'm going to create some edge loops here. Let's just go into our edge loop tool. And then we can move that over to the side there, somewhere around about there like that now we can create another edge loop over this side and if you hold down the mouse when you create the edge loop it's just something that i keep forgetting to do you can drag the edge loop to where you want it to be no problem at all and then you can do the same thing on this one perfect and then we can do the same thing at the top here and i'm going to leave the top one slightly higher just because that's how window panes often look so we're in this situation now. Now I need to do a couple of things. First thing, I need to move this object from in the middle, and then I need to extrude the windows on the window pane uh, in both both directions on on one panel. So we're going to select the face, go into face selection mode, select the face that we don't want, hit delete, and then just go to faces. And now we can rotate ourselves around ever so slowly and I can just drag and select all of those and go into our extrude tool like so. Get around to a slightly more side on view. I'm just going to extrude this. I want this window to be somewhere in the region of about probably 
the window pane only needs to be about five centimeters thick so we need this to be 0 0.05 meters that looks about right yeah that's fine okay so that's cool next thing we want to do is we're actually going to create the window sill so we need to select these faces here this one and this one and that one over there might have to come around a little bit closer perfect and we're going to extrude this more in each direction so I'm going to come out of this far there that looks okay we want the overall length to be no more than probably about 25 centimeters so we know we've got five centimeters there we're extruding this one 10 centimeters in this direction that's fine and now we can go around the other side and select these shapes and select that face shift that face shift this face and we're going to come out this one and we're going to do the same thing again and we're going to come out 10 centimeters in this direction as well oh no that's one meter that was silly let's try that again point one boom happy days nice and simple window frame no problem at all now we can go back into our object mode if we want to now what we can do is we can actually copy the positional information of this object and put it onto this object we're going to material properties there not material properties sorry object properties we can see this 0, 0, 001.5 give or take so we'll go back to this one we'll change that to zero change this one to zero as well and then 1.5 here that's cool but we also need to do a little bit of adjustment because as you can see at the moment it's currently sunk into the wall so we actually want to change its position along the y-axis ever so slowly i would say 2.5 i would say 0 0.025 and that's going to put that exactly where we need it to be and then the last thing we have to do is create material for the window pane or we can just assign it the same material as the skirting which is what i'm going to do so as you can see i've got loads of materials here i've been creating for other objects that's now got an ob the, the same material property as the skirting board so we're operating now with only three materials so that's that completed now so we can now go while we're in object mode i can select everything in the scene it'll be just easier to use the scene tab there we go the collections tab we've got everything selected file export wavefront obj remember it's a hundred in the scale z forward y up and we're going to change this to wall underscore window underscore 3m there we go and we just hit export obj perfect and then we jump back into dash studio and we can import it so we're going to go to object import and i'm going to select wall window leave all of that default and there we go there's our window wall so we can bring that into our scene we've got it there we're going to change its position now here to minus three i hope that's the wrong flipping thing minus 300 now let's look theory me i keep forgetting i'm that needs to be zero <laughs> in the x-axis it needs to be minus 300 good 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 now we can simply select using our surface selection tool i'm going to go there select our window glass and you can assign a glass property to you if you want if you've got any glass shaders i can actually search for glass shaders now let's have a look bunch whole bunch whole bunch and there we go there's a load so i'm going to say I want to thin glass clear, thick glass clear. I'm going to go with uh, thin glass clear as a shader I use for that one. That's fine now. If I select that one, you can see that it actually is the windowsill and the skirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that one. And then in the surfaces tab, we're going to go copy to copy selected surfaces, select that, and then go to paste to selected surfaces. Give that a moment to have a bit of a think. Then do the same thing for our wall material. Copy selected surfaces. Select our window wall there. Paste to selected surfaces. Boom. And there you go. We've now got three seamless shapes that we can use to build a room. And we can create smaller variants. I'm going to do a one meter wide wall, a two meter wide wall, uh, different size windows. 
but it's really that simple really that simple guys hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye